This enormous backyard is underwhelmed by its poorly constructed deck. Wow! <laughs> I'm going to use every inch of this space to create an epic outdoor adventure land fit for lounging, dining, and swimming. I'm getting excited, man. This thing's going to look wicked. Wow. Now that is one awesome sized lot. Huge pie shaped lot and a perfect example of a, an, an existing deck that is just not working for this space. We've got some awkward level changes. We've got structures that are like way too close to the house. We've got a barbecue that is blocking the view of the yard from the door. That's no good. And we got this monstrous hot tub sitting on top of the deck. You gotta climb to get into it, and it's even blocking you know light from the basement window. No good either. Gotta build something out here that takes advantage of the space, flows into the yard properly. So I really can't wait to tear this whole thing apart. So yeah, let's go see what they want. Glenn and Leslie have a yard the size of Texas. They want an ultimate cottage getaway right at home where they can lounge and entertain in high style. Well, first off, guys, huge yard. Uh, but I noticed that the deck is looking like it's uh, not really doing you any favors at this stage of the no, game. No, it's not. We're thinking about buying a cottage, moving with a place with a pool. Okay. But, you know, we love our neighborhoods. You know what? I figured, why don't we just invest in our backyard? Keep it here. Put a pool, do it right. What we're looking for in our new deck is uh, incorporate the hot tub, uh, the pool, uh, eating area, uh, barbecue, and this is an area that we can go and relax, get away from everything. Well, we definitely need an area, like a lounge area, where we could have a glass of wine at the end of the night. Is there any particular style or stuff that you guys have seen that you particularly like? And we travel a lot, so on our travels, we've seen a lot of Asian things, so a really zen kind of atmosphere, like the trickling water. Uh, lighting is important. I think lighting's very romantic. So just kind of like a very kind of cool, zen-like type of feel? Absolutely. And barbecue for me, please. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, very well, Glenn. Yeah. And barbecue shot. lessons. Snap! <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> oh. All right, guys, I'll come up with a plan, and we'll hey, let's let's Perfect. rip that thing down and start fresh. Awesome. Great. Coming off the main doors is a large open space with a giant hot tub neatly tucked into the far corner. Down a level and off to one side is a stylish cabana for all things pool, adjacent to an intimate area on the landing for quiet lounging. Close by and across a small arched bridge is an elevated lounge zone housed under an intricate pagoda-style roof. Over at center stage is an open-air dining area situated under a curved beam pergola and finished with glass railings for a bird's-eye view of everything, including the beautiful new pool surrounded by a privacy wall and dramatic fireball water fountains. On the other side is a large barbecue zone with a rugged faux stone exterior. This one truly has everything. It's gonna be all hands on deck. Here we go, first day, and first order of business is gonna be getting this big bad girl removed. A uh, hot tub has been taken out, but I don't think this thing is gonna be very difficult to come down based on uh, some of the things I've seen. So, busy, busy. What a roll. Dude, you tear stuff out with drama. <laughs> Ripped all the shit. Wow. Oh. Ah! <laughs> you gotta see this, this is hysterical. I'm always stressing the importance of footings. The footing is the foundation of the deck. And uh, if it's not done properly, you can have some major problems. Like we see here, we've got four footings. We're looking at the one at the back. You can see how it's starting to decay around the edge. The water had nowhere to go. Gets a little worse over yonder, starting to uh, totally crumble getting into a sandy type state and ending up with, uh, yeah. I think I made my point. Epic footing fail. Yeah. It's no longer, it's gonna rain. It's raining. It's raining. The reason why I wear sunglasses all the time and so I can just be in full denial about whatever is coming from the sky. As far as I'm concerned, it's sunny and beautiful out here, and the show must go on. Can you believe this gay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's cloudy. <laughs> Bye. Eh.
So we've thrown out most of the deck, and so we're going to be reusing a lot of this material into blocking to help shore up the deck. Uh, so waste not, want not. Yippee-ki-yay! Yeah, we are off to the races on what I believe is going to be a really epic project. We've got all the uh, concrete footings in place, saddles are in place, the pool has been dug out, and our goal for today is going to be taking this plethora of wood and forming the shape of a deck by the end of the day. So it's going to look wicked, but we've got to stay focused. Okay, when you are doing a deck of this size, an orbital laser level is your biggest friend. Uh, what it does, it'll shoot a laser line all across all the posts we have in the air. When you take your handy-dandy receiver, even in bright sunshine, this will pick up the laser. And when you hear that noise, you know you're perfectly level. Flat deck. Thumbs up. Wow. Posts. That's a lot of posts. Are we building a deck for giants? <laughs> We're using pressure treated lumber, so when you make a cut, it exposes the natural wood underneath. So you want to make sure that you're always using your wood preservative to coat the ends. So it's kind of like pickle juice. We're uh, preserving the wood like you would a pickle. Here's the pickle you ordered. Thank you. Not a bad day of framing. We uh, started with nothing and we have most of the deck frame. Not bad. And so moving on from here, we'll be getting into decking. Very cool looking pergolas. And uh, we're going to get a pool put in place pretty soon as well, uh, which hopefully will be uh, not too much of a distraction. It's very hot back here, but we do have work to do. So let's keep an eye on these guys. And so they're going to get this down here. We're going to put that into place. But first things first, some heavy lifting. Cue dramatic music. things out with vigor, including those really bad footings. The pool was dug, the levels were lasered, and Kate made a tasty snack for Dave. Here's the pickle you ordered. So we've had some absolutely fantastic production. Our framing is completely done, which means we are uh, go for decking. And Jeff's coming in as well, because the pool is in place, and he's going to be the guy responsible for doing all the lovely work around the pool. It's going to make it look sick and sweet. So uh, yeah, got to work it out first. How's it going, Paul? Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Not bad, man. How's things? Yeah, I'm making a bridge. You are? I am, man. Oh, sweet. Yeah, we got a very cool Asian type of theme going on here. So, that looks uh, interesting. As you can see, we have a pool. So they got a lot of kids' parties that are going to be going on here. Yeah. So they are, they were a little wary about stone okay. around the pool. There's actually a really cool product. They use it around uh, playgrounds and stuff like that. It's a rubberized paving. Right. And they form and pour it the same way that you would pour concrete. So we can actually get a perfectly level surface. Right. We can do borders and a whole bunch of stuff like that. And Very it will cool. still be really soft on your feet. Soft under the feet. Yeah. That is awesome stuff. Uh, so one of the other focal points of the, of the design is this lounge area, which is what I'm building the bridge to. And so I wanted to create a transition you know, off the edge of the deck uh, to soften things up. But yeah. in keeping with that Asian theme, what can we do from a landscaping perspective? Well, there's a lot of things we can do. Uh, there's some bonsai evergreens that we can put in, some Japanese maple. Very cool. Grasses. There are, there's actually some really hardy bamboos that will tie in really well as well. You you had me at bonsai evergreen. That is just there you go. awesome, buddy. All right, man. Thanks, Jeff. See you later. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten much decking done, but we've got a massive storm system heading our way. We can hear the thunder, which is basically telling us, you know, we're going to get soaked. Hey, Joe, what do you think about the weather? There's thunder in them clouds. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've got some awesome weather happening right now. The clouds are moving and forming and opening. It's pretty awesome. So we didn't get a whole lot done today, but we got a good start on that lower level deck. Uh, Paul had to take off, and I think we're about to do the same because uh, that doesn't look very good. Are you ready? 
Okay, so I am uh, loving the way this project's starting to shape up. We got lots of decking done. You can see some very cool decking patterns. Uh, Jeff and his gang are working like busy little beavers down there, all doing some magic around the pool area. That's gonna look fantastic. Uh, we got a hot tub showing up today. Uh, we got the staircase going in from the upper level to the lower level. Uh, we're gonna be getting this uh, shed framed up. And last but not least, we can do bridge. Funky little bridge. We got Heidi showing up as well, so we got a lot to do. Major component of the overall design is the lovely hot tub. And so they're gonna get this down here, we're gonna put that into place. But first things first, some heavy lifting. Cue dramatic music. That was easier than I thought. That was a lot easier than I thought. Hey, Kate Paul. Hello, Hello. Heidi. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. This is fantastic. They got a hot tub. They got a pool. They got everything going in here. It's big. They love to entertain. Big entertaining couple. Uh, going to be lots of kids here running around the pool. So I think if there's kids and there's people milling about a lot, I don't want to put a lot of furniture in here. I want to keep okay. it a little bit more open, give the kids a spot to run around. Nice. So anything I do put here would be lightweight, very easy to move. So it will have a function, but it can be moved out of the way if you need to. You got it. Exactly. Gotcha. 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 So I see the barbecues over there. So yep. dining over here, yep. which is a nice big space. We can put in a big table. Nice. Let's see, we go over the bridge. This is a lounge area you were talking about. Yeah, and I've got a big fire bowl that's gonna sit in the middle. So the idea is, you know, get out of the pool. Ooh, I'm chilly. Let's go sit in here. And it's gonna be roofed over as well, so shaded. So we got the fire bowl right in the middle. Yeah. You've got traffic coming in here, you've got traffic going off the side. Yes. I think the only thing that's gonna work is a sectional. We'll keep it very clean line, very simple. Okay. Perfect, Daddy. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're gonna do. That's per usual. <laughs> Thanks, See Heidi. you later. Say we had a very productive day. Uh, Joe and Dave got the staircase done, got the hot tub in place, and Kate and I finally got our arced bridge put in place, which is looking really, really cool, which leads us to our next point of attack, which is gonna be the very funky cabana roof. It's really hot back here, but the project is moving along nicely. Wow, that almost looked like you did it by yourself. I did. The decking went down and Heidi Hello, stopped Heidi. by for a chat. The hot tub went in and Jeff's visit had me feeling the zen. You had me at bonsai at Evergreen. That is just there that's you go. awesome, buddy. All right, man. All right, we got some fine changes taking place in this here project. Jeff's got his retaining wall started around the pool area. We've got the cabana roof done. That's going to be sheeted very, very shortly. Also, speaking of changes, we got uh, dark hair on Kate, okay. which, is, which is a very nice change. And our job for the day is going to be taking all these measurements that are here, and we're going to be transferring this to a very funky roof over the lounge area. We're going to be doing that without Patrick, and hopefully before we get wet, because the clouds are looking a wee bit ominous, so got to get to it. Wow. That almost looked like you did it by yourself. I did. So this gazebo that we're building is actually a two-tiered roof. So we got a lower roof, and then there's a little opening here. It's like a little atrium open to the sky, and then a roof sitting on top. So it's very kind of cool, very Asian flair. So uh, trust me, it will look like it's something. Not a bad day on our uh, roof production. We did pretty good, looking pretty awesome. We got cedar shingles to go on next, and on the cabana, we're gonna do siding there. We're gonna do water and fire bowls over the pool. It's gonna get filled with water. We got glass, we got lighting, but uh, I'm getting excited, man. This thing's gonna look wicked. Oh, 
Okay, we got everybody here for one crazy mad building extravaganza. We've done fantastic work on the uh, gazebo area, which is looking absolutely stellar. We got the barbecue zone ready for stone. That's looking pretty awesome. Down below, the rubberized flooring, uh, the base of it's getting put in place. We're finishing that today. Jeff and the lads are, have done just a fantastic job on this retaining wall going around the pool. We're going to be getting the fire bowls put into place today. That's going to look awesome. And uh, siding going up on the cabana. So basically, it's just full scale nuts. Okay, so right now we're just about done the base course for the uh, rubberized surface. So it's recycled tires, which is actually really, really neat. So it's a green product. Um, and so the black is actually just the base course. The uh, the top coat is a little bit of a finer granule and uh, you can get that in any color you want. Like So on this case, we're actually putting down a nice white. So it's gonna look awesome. That's a funny noise. Did you guess our band name yet? The Copper Tones. Yeah. <laughs> it's like something out of a sci-fi movie. Bam. 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 <laughs> So these are our water fire bowls. They are so stinking awesome, it's ridiculous. So we have fire coming out the top, we have waterfall pouring into the pool, and at night it's just gonna look magnifico. Okay, after today's work, we are officially in the home stretch. We're kind of like so close yet so far. And so, water in the pool is the next step, and glass and lights. What's really exciting about this project is what it's gonna look like at night, because the when this thing is illuminated, there's gonna be planes circling the land. It is our final day on this crazy, crazy project, and everyone's just full of youthful exuberance because it's the end, and we have a pool. fan tastic Okay, you two. The cabana and the pagoda roof are taking shape, and the rubber walkway is down. Also, we've got copper accents and, yes, some fire bowls. It's the definition of grand finale. It is our final day on this crazy, crazy project, and everyone's just full of youthful exuberance because it's the end. And uh, a lot of finishing touches have gone into place. The gazebo's looking fantastic. Got the stone all over the barbecue area. And we have a pool. And the rubberized flooring going all the way around the edge is just looking totally epic. Jeff and his guys are plugging away. We got pool guys hooking up the water fire bowls. We got electricians here. We are cleaning like crazy. And when we're done, this whole thing is going to look fan diddly -tastic. I am very excited. So we're putting the finishing touches now on our rubberized flooring. And I love this stuff because it's not only rubber, but it actually hardens just like rock. So it's really, really durable. And I love the fact that you can do these really creative patterns in it. So we got this border going all the way around the edge of the pool. The curved line really softens up the hard line of the coping. And we're putting these awesome Chinese characters in. Very symbolic meaning. It means to be generous, willing to give. Okay, so right now I'm working on planting our raised retaining wall that's going all the way around the pool. Um, to go along with the whole Zen theme, I wanted to go with some really nice light and airy grasses. Uh, so we have a few different colors, different textures, but what's gonna be really nice is that it's just gonna add a ton of movement, but also the added height just gives it a little bit more of that enclosed feeling. I absolutely love this gazebo. It's warm, it's cozy, we've got this fantastic fire pit, and I think what brings it all together is this big sectional sofa. It fits lots of people, and a fantastic place to curl up on a cool summer evening. Glenn and Leslie always wanted a backyard resort with a very romantic type of feel to it, but their old deck was just badly functioning, it was totally decrepit. We got pool with water and fire bowls. We got fire everywhere. We got gazebos and pergolas and cabanas and hot tubs. And, uh, and on top of everything else, Glenn finally gets his man cave barbecue zone. Jeff just did some fantastic work around the perimeter. And Heidi did some slick styling as per usual. I have no doubt that this is going to blow their mind. I can't wait to find out. OK, you two, come check out your new romantic getaway. Ah! Oh, my god. Oh. 
it. Oh, wow. Oh, amazing. Oh, my God. Wow. That's <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> That's a little better than the old decrepit deck, isn't it? Wow. wow. Oh, my goodness. Yes, a lot better than the old backyard, let me tell you. Hot Jesus. tub's back. Oh wow. When I walked out, I was like, wow. Just amazing. Anything we wanted, it was there. Plus, it was phenomenal. We wanted big, and we got it. Lights? Yeah. And in the deck? This, everywhere. This thing is going to sing at night. <laughs> Forget about the lights. Look at my man barbecue. <laughs> yes, thank That's, you, Paul. This is the absolutely, right way. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> thank you. Dining area. It's all surrounded in glass, so there's nothing that's going to block the view. Beautiful. I love the nice little cabana that we have tucked in over there. Yeah. It's perfect. I've noticed that bridge. Let's go over that I, bridge. I agree with you. <laughs> you lead the way. Oh wow. It's unbelievable. This is the lounge zone. Wow. This is fantastic. Yeah. Let's go on down the pool. Check this out. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. Is Isn't that this nice? Yeah. rubber? Yeah. This is rubber. Wow. wow. But it's just as durable as rock. It's okay. phenomenal. Isn't that great? Yeah. And look at the cool design patterns you can do. Wow. Like look at that there on the floor. Now you're going to have to tell me what that says. <laughs> what that says is to be generous, willing to give. Oh, wow. phenomenal. Amazing. I just feel like I have a spa back here. The waterfalls and the, and the fire bowls are just amazing. Oh. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Oh, Thank you so up. much. <laughs> Man, those guys are going to love it back here. I could tell from the minute they walked out the door that this was that perfect Zen retreat that they've always wanted. Uh, emergency evacuation. Uh, we basically pack up the tools, throw a tarp over them, go home and play some video games. That's what Dave looks like when he games. That's what I look like when I get. <laughs> <laughs>